Hi, thanks for stopping by. Today, we're gonna to learn more about the Mercedes-Benz brand. So if you're a beginner, you can think of this as Mercedes-Benz 101. When I first came to Mercedes, figuring out all the different cars in this line was quite complicated. So I'm breaking it down for you today. To take this from the top we're going to just start with the sedan in the mercedes-benz line today this is being filmed in 2019 you have the a class the c class the e class and the s now the a class is brand new in 2019 it's a beautiful subcompact car uh, very much made for our younger technological savvy generation the best in class voice um, response, you say, hey Mercedes, and she responds. So that's our A-Class. Our C-Class is a sedan that's been around for a long time. It's a nice, normal sized sedan. We get into our mid-sized in the E, and our, I call this the Godfather. The S-Class is your largest sedan. Um, has a lot of power, but it has just room and every luxury you could imagine. Now when you look at the back of a car to figure out what it is, you don't only see a letter, you also can see a number. For instance, the A is a 220. The C right now is a 300, and so on. The letter of the vehicle is talking about the size, the body makeup. The number is about the engine and how powerful that engine is. Now there's a couple variances in this line. Beside the A, there's also one called the CLA. The CLA has been around for a few years and started as sort of the entry level into a Mercedes, but it also has more of a coupe style. It's a little bit more, has more of a sports line to it. So this one is gonna be more of that sports, a little bit less headroom for that back, those backseat passengers, where the A-Class now is much more of a sedan, more room in the back. We also have down here, about here on the prices, we have the CLS. The CLS is also very coupey, very sporty, although it's still four doors, but has beautiful lines and much more powerful. So as you look from A, C, E, and S, the other thing that's gonna happen is that your price is going to increase as we move up this scale. The cars are gonna have more luxury, more features, they're larger, and so that's kind of what you can expect if you're brand new to the Mercedes-Benz. All right, so moving into SUVs. The A or the CLA class, the SUV's similar name is going to be the GLA. With the C class, it's the GLC. Our midsize sedan translates into our midsize SUV as the GLE. See a pattern here? And our largest SUV with a third row is GLS. A-C-E-S, A-C-E-S. It's gonna follow size getting from smaller to bigger, price getting from smaller to bigger as well. More amenities, more power, all of that. All right, now we're moving into our really sporty vehicles. You may know Mercedes-Benz simply for some of these vehicles, um, but we have the SLC, which is gonna be our smallest. These are two-seaters. We also call them roadsters. You have the SL, and then you have our iconic sports car, which is the GT. Now, there's lots of variances through here, and not to confuse you, but to make sure you stay straight, both sedans, SUVs, and sport cars also have an added thing called AMG. AMG is our sports engine. It's incredible, it makes things more powerful. So you may see AMG in any combination here, and there'll be another video about that AMG line, so stay tuned for that. As well as, I'm gonna break all of these lines down even more specifically in a later video. I just wanted you to get a good idea of the breakdown 
of the Mercedes-Benz line. But I'm afraid I've forgotten one very important vehicle. And that vehicle is represented by nothing else than the letter G. That's the G-Wagon, you're right. It's also called, it was originally called the Galanderwagen, meaning land wagon or off-road vehicle. And interestingly enough, until 2019, it really didn't do well off-road. The 2019 version is the newest, most amazing version and it is amazing off-road. I'm putting in a couple pictures of when I got to off-road in it just a couple weeks ago. So the G-Wagon is just the best of everything. It could be a family car, it could be an SUV, it's sporty, uh, and it, it's just in a class all of its own. So I hope this helped you out today. Mercedes-Benz is an incredible, wonderful line with a car for anyone and a price point for anyone as well. So thanks again for stopping by and learning a little bit more about Mercedes-Benz. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And if you drive a Mercedes, let us know what that is. I'd love to hear about it. Like this video, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.